Hey there, Heather, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Down, welcome you to another OTP game of the day. Today we have the 69 Montreal Expos against the Chicago White Sox Legends. The 69 Expos are going to be contracted next year because of them being one of the first three AL teams to be eliminated from the playoffs. That means they'll be contracted and we'll have two 35-team leagues. Anyhow, the 69 Expos signed Jim Beattie to the mound against Ed Walsh, who's 18-6. The 69 Expos have Maury Chuchu Wills at short. Manny Motor in left. Rusty Stubb will play right field. Mac Jones DHs. Bob Bailey at first. Ty Klein at center. Remy Herman also at third. John Bateman will catch. And Gary Sutherland will play second on the other side of the coin. We have Eddie Collins at second base. Lou Gapley at short. Shoeless Joe Jackson in right field. Frank Thomas at DH. Elkin Eric at first. Robin Fincher at third. Megler joining us in left. Johnny Molstow will play center, and Sherman will water the couch. 69 Expos are 38.95, not really good, 28%. Right, they're better on the road than at home, which is weird. The White Sox are 94 and 40, 54 against the above 500, first place in the AL North. Their percentage at home, 75%, three wins for every loss. Montreal is 6-2 in extra inning games, and above 501 run games. Other than that, March, they had a good March. Other than that, they were they've been totally shit. The White Sox had a good March. They were nine and one. They had a bit of a crappy May, but other than that, they've been pretty good. Twelve and two this month. Yeek. Montreal, their only great movement is fourteen in strikeouts. They don't strike out a lot, but they're the worst in batting average. They're the worst in slugging percentage. They're the worst run scoring. The worst run hits guys. Extra base hits for that matter. The White Sox are top ten in some categories. Not in home runs, they're 22nd. But, you know, they're fourth in batting average, fifth in all P on base percentage. The Expos pitching staff, kind of atrocious, 13th in BAP. The White Sox are number one in the AL in six categories. Strikeouts is the only category they're, the pitchers are in that are not top 10 in the AL. So, you know, at least they're getting the, the outs, I think, in this sense. All right, so the White Sox in the White Sox, a guaranteed great field. The first in the North, Chicago won four out of five. That's one four out of five. One's blowing out the left, so that could be a home run in the stream if they can get the left field. Here's Choo Choo. Choo Choo Wills, we all know today's game brought you by State Farm. Thank you, good day. We're just pesky White Sox are there, and Old Navy. Apple bottom jeans. So base hit, here's Moda. Mari goes, and they'll have Tom. They still have a double play, Bob. Beautiful job, double play. Now here's Tom. Stop, try to do the right. That's going to go all the way to the wall. So that's going to be a double for the Grand Orange. That's number. Ah, they're not telling me. Huh. Here's Mac. Mac Jones ground ball for three. Easy play. We just need that out. No score. Now you've got the White Sox dealing with Jim Beanie. Eddie Collins will go first. Fifth in stolen bases. 67. That's amazing. 67 and you're fifth. Base hit there. Will he go first on this? Exactly. Answer is no. Apple in the center. Hot by. Klein. Klein Klein. Where's Shoeless? Runner goes. Shoeless knows he's going for stone base. He's got it. 68 out of 79. So he's not been the superstar he really was. Shoeless for Jackson. 4 3 on that one. Yep. So Frank Thomas. And a slider strike. Alright. Good job. Here's Walsh. Right three. Strike over the fastball. And Walsh. Green ball, 6 3. Ooh. Applin couldn't get the ball. Ooh. And Walsh. Double play.
Don't say that. Sorry about that. I'm a little distracted. Just gonna go. And a hit. A hit. I pop. Your pitching is already deceiving the hitter. Hmm. Oh. Ventura. One ball, double play ball. Do that. Now here's Max. He doesn't play much. 6 3 on the scoreboard. You betcha. I had a play. One hit, nothing else. John Bateman. Bateman to center field. Clocked by Musto. There's Gary Sutherland. Sutherland will get a base hit. Nice and done. Choo choo. Oh, yes. Mulch died striking. I need to run the lens. And well, just flip it. Okay. Cool. So Manny Mona. Now, of course, a lot of people went, wait a minute, Mona played the same match. Well, he did, but I think he got traded. So I think these are just the opening rosters. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Here's Mosto. Mosto to right field. Cut. Lola. Now, ball four three. Collins. Collins. The center plot. So these are a lot of afternoon games. So I think this is a Saturday, if I was actually right. So after trading the score, now let's look at the scores. Pittsburgh. The 1916 Phillies are at 5 sub. Cincy, Legends up 6 1. Brooklyn's up 5 1 already. Ooh. Cleveland's up 7 2 already. But that's Cleveland Legends, I must say. Okay, Alright. So we got a lot of games to do. Padres Legends are up 4 0 already. Did anyone ask? The Twins are up 7 0. Sorry, I didn't focus on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of games. There's not a lot of. There's a lot of 3 o'clock games, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Cubs in Washington, Taylor, San Fran is going to 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Very still no score in that one. Wow. Alright. So that's all we got for that. No score. Here's stop. Stop down ball. Off the back, great, but 4 3. Right to all them. Here's Jones. Down ball. 6 3. Yes. Apple got him. 23 bounces. Here's Bailey. Bailey will drop it into left field. If you can hit a ball deep left field, you can get a hit. Bailey. Klein. Klein to center. Klein will be cut. Walsh does his job. No score. Here's Luke Applin. 6-3. Yep. Now Shoeless. Shoeless. Ground ball 6-3 on the scoreboard. Yes. So after this game, we will have the standings for you. Here's Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas to left field. Back the ball. Oh, I love it. run. And Mota catches it. No score. I was just on 42 pitches. So that's not bad. Here's Promoso. Promoso right to Mr. Fanchera. Uno, Otto. Here's Walsh to Bateman. Ground ball 6 3 on the scoreboard. Yes. Tug for Sutherland. Sutherland, that's a base hit. That's the second of the day. Bit of a late replacement, but hey. What in doubt. Next pitch, ground ball for three. Collins. Wills was chugging, but Collins saw that coming. No score. Now D, who's down 46 pitches. Not bad. He gets Pinerco. Pinerco pop him up. B was on. Got it. Yeah, so then says, I want it. You can have it. Here's Robin. Robin Ventura, drive to right, easy catch. <clears throat> no. Here's our Ardanias. Got him. Second strikeout for B. No score through five. This is a pitcher's tool. Here's Moda. Round ball 6 3. Yes. 
pretty much to stop. Stop Rambo is split by Collins. He's getting those Rambo out. Here's back. Got him. Fastball. Nine two in the gun. You gotta swing at those. It's monster. Rambo, by three. Oh, took too much time. Hermoso could have just lay on the ball. I right, go to second, Mosto. So E5. Mosto on second. Millard, the bike probably. Nope. We'll take a walk. This is looking for Collins. I wonder if he will find Yes, he will. From both third base. He's got to go to the first because Collins is the best runner. They do get him. Second race hit is 10. One out. So the athlete, all he's going to do is just hit a feet. Athlete, right to PD. Wow. Wow, that was a fast track from mine. She lives with Jackson. Now they need a hit. And he will give it to them. That's one. And they go for two. Yes, they will. Got it. She lives with Jackson. That's why he's one of the best hitters of all time. Two nothing. And it's BD who will play first. He's really pissed off at himself. A lot of the pitchers are also like tired. But they're gonna go with Gwyn and Jaster just to warm up. Ground ball six. Oh, right underneath. I thought Thomas was out. Looks like Wills was gonna get it. But nope, first and second for Canerco. Canerco to center. Will he make him pay? Not really. But two runs? Or two runs. It sucks up to nothing. And Walsh looking decent. It's Bailey. Bailey will loop it. This might be a catch. You bet it is. Then he makes the catch and now Walsh. Good climb. Climb. Grand Walsh it's three. Yes. It's got it. Now Hermoso. Now ball underneath his glove. Hermoso. Rambo, oh, Bateman, sorry about that. Too fast. I'm just gonna let you catch up. Oh, cop. Take me a little ball game time. Two nothing. One six. Since you have seven. Saturday afternoon. We need to Ventura. Are they going to let him pitch? Yeah. Why not? You know you're going to get contracted. Ventura drives it to right. Look out! And you can put him on the board! Loose! Robin knocks it flat. It's 3 to nothing. White Sox. Kelly Land and Hawk Harrelson on the board. Well, I think that is the end of that. Ordonez is out, so Quinn's going to come in. I know he's not really healthy, but they need somebody. This is a 30-second game. Who's Ordonez? Ordonez to right field, drops in for a base hit, but great defensive effort to cut it down to just a single. Here's Mosto. Bottom! And a curvy. Here's the bar. And well, and also 5 for 3 And not the double play. So Gwen does a decent job. I think they have it. Because it was his predecessor. So Walsh. I think he'll stay around for a complete game. Grab ball for 3 Yeah. Here's Wells. Play ball. Yes. That's 2. Now, here comes Moda. Got him! A Scroogey! It's a screwball. So the Cincinnati Expos can't put a run on the board. They are one of the worst teams in baseball, so anyway, here's Collins. Collins to right field. Oh, Stop caught it. I thought I was going to hit the ball for Dobo. Here's Appling. One for a power hitter. I don't think he was a power hitter. Grab ball. 
Yes, sir. 43. And finally, Shoeless Joe Jackson. He's got two RBIs. Looking for number three, and nothing. Stop makes the catch. Win! Even though he looked tired, he did pretty well. My steps up three, nothing. Walsh, will he finish it off? Stop right there. Catch the ball. And here it goes. Polly makes the catch. Come down and here comes Mac Jones. Mac will fly out? I think so. Yeah. The Moss though, two down. And one more and go. Here's Bailey. Right to. Oh, oh. Right over Colin, so Bailey's got a second hit. But I don't think Walsh is going to be too concerned. He's going to have eight hits, though. Not about 5 3, just one out. You got it. I'm sure it does his job. The White Sox win 3 0. And Walsh gets up eight hits, but nothing was damaging. Good for him. <laughs> it was 50 50 right down the middle. The White Sox 55 games above 500. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know if you can hear it. I think you can, unfortunately. So, anyway, sorry about that. 3 0 White Sox. They got a hit, but they still win. Two RBI single by Shoeless or Jackson, and Robin Ventura knocked his 16th out of the park. Beatty did all he could, but nothing worked. Gwynn did pretty well in two innings, giving him one hit. Walsh doing his job. Eight hits. Two by. Bailey, two by Sutherland, and four of us had a hit. Oh, anyway, Jim Tomei, Paul Blair, and Cal Ripken are your stars. Baltimore really crushed the 24 Washington Suns. They acted with two guys there. Mm -hmm. So this Saturday, here are the scores. Toronto wins 6-5. to five. Hank beats Garza. Hank is safe, safe. In Tampa Legends, Forbes Field scored in the 10th to win 2-1. Face beats and then given the save. The 48 Braves beat the 57 Braves, 2 nothing. Sane beats Lurch with Hulk the save. Shy wins 4 to 1. Boston beats Dravicki with Myers' fifth save. The 1916 Phillies win 7 2. Chalmers beats McGinty. Oof. Cleveland's Legends win 12 5. Lee beats Eaton. Eaton. Boston beats Texas 3 2. Well, Texas. Was down to nothing. Top of ninth, they tied it, but Boston scored in the bottom of the ninth. Gordon beats Ode. Minnesota Legends win 8 1. Leonard beats Washburn. Kaufman wins 8 5 3. Liebert beats Downs with Clinton's 25th save. 61 Yankees shot the Astros Legends 7 4. Sheldon beats Durker with Aurelio's 27th save. The White Sox game, you saw live 3 zip. The 91 Twins win 12 3. Abbott beats Rule. The 59 Dodgers with a big shutout win. Surprising. They almost have 100 losses. Drysdale has 7 points. He beats Wilson. Trevor Wilson, that is. Oakland Legends denied Detroit their 100th win. At least right now. Bender beats Lola. Who's Eck with the save. The Royals Legends had to score 2 in the ninth to beat, to tie the 86 Angels and then 2 in the 10th to win. Clinton Berry beats Donnie Moore. Poor Donnie Moore. Well, the good news for the Angels Legends is that they won 4-3. Santana beats Roof. Well, Roof is not a good pitcher. First of all, starting here today. Uh, the 94 Indians, big shocking win over the 94 Expos. Tavares beat Scott DePoto, let's say. Seattle crushes the 62 Jones in Divine Powder. Langston beats McCormick. And finally, Baltimore crushing the 1924 Sands 17-3. Bedard beats Saucer. Bedard, Canadian, oh, Bedard, 16-6. National League time. Pittsburgh beats a 2 other point ace. Flags of our Candelera beats Hudson with Hanrahan, the save. The Philly Legends went 2-1. Meyer beats Caldwell. Erskine Meyer's got 19 wins. Mitch Williams has 40 seconds save. Ooh. 5-4 uh, for the Marlins over the Braves Legends. Johnson, Josh Johnson beats Maddox. Wow, Max tonight is 20th win. Hammond picks up his third save. Brooklyn crushes the 99 Braves into fine powder. Newcomb beats Chen with Black Joe. Me Joe Black with the save. Flushing beats the 2009 Yankees 3-2. Goodell beats Maliki. He's now 1-20. This guy should be... Delete it. Delete, delete, delete. Familia is 26 8. The 95 Orioles shocked the Dodgers Legends 4 2. Ben McDonald 9 and 12. Hershey drops to 3 and 4. Look at the ERA though. 2.1. How? Other 36. Reds Legends win 7 to 1. Walters beats McCarthy. So 2001 Mariners ported on against the 1918 Red Sox. Halama Lama with the win over Lefty Williams, who is now 3 and 19. 
The Padres with a three-hit shutout over the Fifth Seven Braves. Lactose. No, the Brew Crew was the 82 Brewers. Damn it. Lactose be fooling. 2017 Twins with a fortune win. Henry beats Myers with Rogers to save. Astro City went down 2 0 through 7.5, but they still scored 3 in the last innings. Warrell beats Valverde. Um, the Dirt 2 Cubs with a shocking win 8 4. Ground suits Mejia. Arlington beats Baker 5 4. Oliver beats Alexander. Peanut Center. The 54 Giants with a shutout win. Lydell beats Ledesma. The Rockies shut out the 2004 Red Sox. Francis beats Wakefield, Canadian. San Fran beats St. Louis, Battle of the Legends. 7 2. Schmidt beats Carpenter. The Cubs Legends score 2 in the ninth to win 6 5. Kimball Fawn beats John Wetland, who can't win a fight. Again, Sean Marshall to save. The 85 Jays win 5 3. Doyle Alexander's now 500. Moncrief drops to 4 15. Icorn's 30 is saved there. And finally, the Mets beat the Black Sox 4 2. Darling beats Schellenbach with McGraw to save. Couple of games with a quick play. And see the 97 Marlins win their delay game 3 0. Brown beats Damari with quick to save. So Marlins are now 64 and 71. The 1916 Phillies dropped to 54 and 80. And the 61 Yankees went 85 against the 86 Royals. I mean, Angels. Turley 4 and 2. He beats Witt, who drops 11 and 12. Louis Arroyo the save. So just a couple games for the 17th. Now the 18th, we will have. Shit going on. Power rankings. The Marlins look good in the power rankings. Um, Berlin Grimes is out with a torn UCL. Six and nine. Ah. Uh, Chipper Jones is the annual player of the week for the um, Braves. Bobby Avila does his job as a player of the week. Lee Thomas with a triple over a triple home run. This guy's got thirty home runs. He's got 24. Oh, he was ripping it up. 24 cents are out. The playoffs. I think we just saw that coming. Anyway, let's look at the standings. All right, so the batting leader is Ty Cobb. His teammate, Garager, is second. Home runs, Moises Alou of the 97 Martins of 31, Mickey Mantle and Aroid. Mantle of the 61 Yankees, Aroid of the Seattle Legends. Damaggio, 124 RBI, Screenberg, 119, Beckler, 108 for... RBIs. Ty Cobb, 104 RBIs. George Brown of the 1905 Giants is third. Wow. I never would expect that. Ty Cobb was stealing. Better War, Ty Cobb. Well, damn. ERA, Joss, Sakati, Tanana, all under two. Frank Tanana was the ERA leader for a long time. But he's got 22 wins. Jared Richard of the Astros Legends has 21. I think it's the Legends. Yep. And 20 for Ron Guitry. Strikeouts, Randy Johnson with 163. Jared Richards trying to get the thing. Max Scherzer third. Addy Joss, the best pitcher war. Why? I don't know. Rivera, Hernandez, and BJ Ryan for saves. And now, Rogers, Hornsby, 392. Chuck Line of the Banker Bowl. Phillies are second with 374. Left field to third. Barry Bonds is going to win the home run title. He's got 36. Andre, the Hawk Dawson, Frank. Baker Thomas with 33 each. Chuck Line of the Phillies, 130 RBIs. Baker Bill Chuck Lines has 121. David Wright has 117. So on base is Billy Hamilton, 107. Jackie Robinson, you see that? Better War, Willie Mays, and David Wright, and Billy Hamilton. Not that Billy Hamilton of the Reds back in the 2000s. Ura Maddox, 2.13. Colfax, 225. Tannehill, 242. Man, look at all these guys in there. Gwen Seaver with 21. Colfax and Tannehill with 20. Pedro Martinez, 165 strikeouts. Josh Johnson, third. Greg Maddox, best picture board. And Match Williams has 42 saves. Okay, so let's look at the expanded cities. The AL East. The Yankees are 8.5 on Boston, 12 on Baltimore. Their magic number to get a playoff spot is 26 straight wins for Baltimore, even though they're 12 back. The AL Central. Well, there's only five teams. The AL Central, the Tigers. 12 of them in Minnesota, 20 on Kansas City. Their magic number to clinch a playoff berth is 16. Uh, four straight wins for the 94 Tribe, but they're almost out of the playoffs. The AL West, the Angels 5 up on Oakland, 13 on Texas, and Houston for that matter. Match number is 23 for the Angels. See all the way down there. Five straight losses for the 84 Padres. And the AL North, you'll have the White Sox out of Cleveland by 5, Toronto by 10, Seattle's won four straight. 
1969 Expos are ridiculous, but they're I think they're not the worst team. Anyway, the NL East Phillies are 10 up on the Mets, 16 and a half up on the Marlins. Quietly, the Marlins have won not one, not two, not three, but 19 in a row? Are you joking? <sighs> they could get a wild card spot. Freaky. The Marlins? Well, the magic number for the Phillies are 18. Well, they are. They won 100 freaking games. <laughs> the Mets have won five straight. Quietly. The NL Central, Pittsburgh 10 up on St. Louis, 14 on Milwaukee. The magic number to clinch a plus spot is 18. Six straight losses for the 57 Braves and seven straight for the Sports Park. The 44 Browns, the NL West, San Diego, 101 wins. They're five up on the Dodgers, eight on the Giants. Four straight wins for Colorado, quietly. Magic number for San Diego is 23, if you must know. The NL North, Washington, and Cincy are tied for first. Literally, 1945. The 75 Reds have 21 games, or 21 back. Magic number for Washington and Cincy are both 28. I just want to know if Washington and Cincy have to battle each other. It could be critical. Um, doesn't look like it. Nope, they don't. Washington's got to face the St. Louis Legends, the Arizona Legends, and the Philly Legends. Well, the Philly Legends to end. The Reds, I think, have a better... Um, Anyway, wild card chase. Well, Detroit's the top team in the AL with 99 wins. The Yankees, 98. Angels, 96. White Sox, 95. So that would be 1 to 4. The four wild cards would be Oakland, Cleveland, Boston, and Minnesota. However, Baltimore's only one back of a wild card. Toronto's two back. Seattle's three back. So it's a tight race in the American League. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six teams within five games of the wild card, fourth wild card team. So the 97 Martins are the top. Seasonal team at 64 and 71, well tied with the 84, 86 Angels, sorry. In the meantime, the NL, Philly and San Diego both have 100 plus games, so that looks good. Pittsburgh and Washington would be 3 4. Washington and Cincy, you know. But the creepy thing about Washington and Cincy is that second place would be the fourth wild card because the Dodgers, Giants, and Mets all have more than 90 wins. Cardinals are three back. Marlins are three and a half back despite a 19 game winning streak, so that's just freaky how the Marlins. Peak at the right time, but it might be TLTL. I just want to look at the Marlins quickly. Their schedule. So they got to do with the 06 Tigers, doable. Then they're going to face the 55 Dodgers, the 99 Braves, that could be the tough one. They face the 61 Giants, the 57 Braves. Then they get the Dodgers Legends, the 1920 Tribe. They have to play two games against Seattle. They won Seattle, and then they finish off against the Mets. So, my guess is September is going to be, you know, hard to press. But that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching this game thing. I'm Jeff Diamond. I'm under 30 minutes. Cool. I do.